Hi guys, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library bringing you today's tween and teen craft tutorial. This is a comic coaster that we're going to make today. And what I did is I took um, favorite pieces from comics and funnies and I decoupaged them onto a ceramic square tile and um, just sealed the whole thing with Mod Podge at the end. So let me show you what things you'll need today to make this fun coaster. You'll need, of course, some funnies. These, this is um, from the Sunday newspaper. You can get those every day in the newspaper, or you can print things online. If you have old comic books, those would be great. Favorite characters you like, um, or even graphic novels that maybe are old. Those would be fine too. I have a square ceramic tile that I got off of Amazon. You can find these at hardware stores, um, big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's, but any kind of hard surface material like this would work. If you have a recyclable container, maybe the lid would work for that. Um, but if you don't have that, a piece of cardboard, just any shaped cardboard would work well too because we're going to be sealing it. And of course, you'll need a jar of Mod Podge. This is a great sealer that you can use for a lot of things. It will help glue the newspaper pieces down and then seal them when we're done. A paintbrush and a pair of scissors. Most crafts are pretty flexible. So as we go along, you can make adjustments if you need to. So I'm going to just show you mine again, nice and up close. You can see how I cut out all the different pieces to kind of make them fit in all the open spaces, filling in all those negative spaces the best I could with favorite characters, titles, speech bubbles, all sorts of things. So let's get started and make another one. I'm going to tilt my screen down so you can see how we go along. All right, and I put this piece of cardboard here just so you can see a little better on my black table. So I took my comics and I've already pre-cut several different pieces to get started with today. So I took out a piece that says comics. I think that's Big Nate with Stilbert. This is a little character from Family Circus. I used to love the comics called BC, so I cut out that title. There's Ziggy. This a little dog that I thought was cute. This is the sergeant from Beetle Bailey. Garfield. Snoopy. And just a little, um, little word that says, ha ha ha. I thought that would be interesting. So I'm going to open my decoupage, my Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right from the, the jar. But you could always pour yours in a little container a little applesauce cup that's old and recycled, or a yogurt cup. And I think I'm going to start with the biggest one, and I'm going to put it um, diagonally. You could do anything like that. I kind of like the look of it being diagonal. So I'm going to just spread right across the middle to give it a spot to stick. Make sure it's sticking down there. Remember, at the end, we're going to go over the whole thing with at least two coats of Mod Podge to seal it, and that'll be good for when you do use it as a coaster to um, prevent it from getting warped from, from any water. And then I'll just start filling in the different areas with my characters. So you can see that one kind of hangs off the edge. I might snip a little there. And then maybe we'll put Billy up here. I think that character's name is Billy, so we'll put him there. So you kind of want to have an idea of where your characters want to be. As you go along, test it. You can see I'm kind of testing how I think it might look before I put it down. And maybe Snoopy, maybe, maybe he goes upside down on this one, let me know. And eventually, you'll fill in the whole thing. Oops, that's okay because that's gonna be covered at the end. And then keep going. Maybe this guy will go this way. You can see I've kind of filled in all the space here. And as I go along, testing, maybe this goes here. A little wah ha ha And after I've got these glued on, I'll go back and I'll cut out some more to fill in any of the spaces that I've missed. This one, maybe like that. I think like that. 
I'm gonna tuck it underneath a little bit. Now Dilbert, I think I'm gonna have to trim. So let's see, maybe we'll just use the word Dilbert. That might fit nicely. Kind of trim around it a little bit. Let's see. Look down over here. Maybe we'll put it upside down. All right. And then at the end, once everything's covered, again, we'll just be covering the whole thing like this. So any little drips that you had will get covered. And you'll do the whole thing covered with Mod Podge so that eventually you'll have something like this. It's nice and shiny and sealed, and then you can use it as a coaster. All right. So that is today's craft tutorial on how to make a comic coaster. Remember, if you make one of these projects, send us a picture of your, your completed project. We'd love to see it. You can email me at lmurphy at cwmars.org or post it on one of our um, Facebook posts as a comment. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and our website is uptonlibrary.org. See you next time. Bye.